Uh, Jungir asked a good question. So, Sam, I'll let you answer this. Jungir says, why don't you share in the property taxes if this is a co-ownership? That is a great question. So, again, going back to that slide that I discussed, Shirakat al-Milk versus Shirakat al-Aqad. Shirakat al-Milk is a, essentially a transfer of ownership. It's a partnership for a transfer of ownership, right? Ultimately, the, uh, uh, the ownership is to be yours over time, and you can buy it over, over, over that period of that term. But the key here is this. You, the customer, will essentially gain all the appreciating value of that property. We're not in it to trade in real estate. We're not in it to say, hey, we're jumping in with you to become uh, co-owners for the sake of making money off of the appreciating value of real estate. That's for you. That's critical for you. It's important that you get all of that. And so in that regard, who, if you're going to benefit from the upside long-term on a property, one of the questions that was asked by our Sharia Supervisory Board was, property taxes, what, what, where do they go? When, when somebody pays them, where do they go? And the answer to property taxes is they go for local services, your local police department, fire department, local schools, paving of the roads, if you live in the north, hauling away the snow when it snows. In the, so it benefits who? It benefits the occupant of the property. And that's why property taxes are the sole responsibility of the occupant of the house, which is our customer. Why? Because long term, they're benefiting from living in that neighborhood, but they're also benefiting from the appreciating value of the property. You get all the appreciation. That was a distinction that we made very clear early on. And it's very logical, I think, Salman. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I appreciate you clarifying that. 